Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to continue with our GitHub series. So we are going to discuss how we can contribute to open source projects in GitHub. So we will firstly discuss what are open source project, why it is important uh, for a developer uh, to contribute to GitHub projects. Is it uh, beneficial? So, and then we will see a demo in GitHub, how we can con uh, contribute to the open source projects. So we'll fork a repository, we'll then clone a repository, and then we will make a pull request. So let's start. So firstly, what is an open source project? So open source project is a term originally referred to as open source software. So open source software is uh, a software where the code is publicly accessible. That is anyone can see, modify, distribute the code as they fit. So there are many open source projects that are hosted on GitHub. Some common, uh, most popular examples are Linux, Kubernetes, etc. So uh, what happens basically is the company which we are, uh, that are that is developing the software. So they uh, make the code publicly accessible, accessible, so that uh, the other users or other companies can use the code, make changes to the code. Let's say improve the code quality and uh, make make it a better software. So and also they can uh, there is a license that has been given uh, that has been provided in the repository. So based on that uh, it. Uh, lets other users know how they can use that code so uh, uh, so now let's discuss whether it is uh, whether contributing to the open source projects is worth it so i'll say in short yes companies sometimes prefer candidates who have contributed to open source projects so contributing to open source projects uh, basically builds your resume or cv and can leverage your career so it is a great achievement if you have contributed to some big open source project. So and it also helps us in building our professional networks. And let's say if, uh, if you are contributing to a project uh, of Kubernetes, so we will get to know uh, like the internal details of the software, how it is working. We'll, we will be able to see the code uh, behind, uh, uh, behind the doors. And uh, it is a great way uh, to build your CV and resume. So and now I want you guys to sh uh, I want to show you guys a job role uh, which I found that is of Salesforce. So uh, you can see uh, they have uh, in their job description they have given some points. So one of the point is that uh, the candidate should write sample code, client libraries, and contribute to open source projects. So what I want uh, what I meant uh, by showing this is that companies do ask for uh, developers who have contributed to open source projects. So uh, now we will quickly see a demo uh, in GitHub. So we will basically go to a public repository where we think changes are required. We will then fork that repository. Uh, we'll understand what does fork means. Uh, and uh, after we have the uh, uh, forked version of the repository, then we'll clone that repository and then make the changes and open and commit it. And then we'll open a pull request. So let's start. I'll I'll show you guys two repositories of Salesforce. Uh, so I've opened two repositories. One is for developer force and the other one is for force.com. So you can see if you guys are using Salesforce CLI, Salesforce has made their, their code uh, publicly available. So anyone can uh, view their code and make changes. So they, are, uh, they have also made available their uh, Salesforce extensions for VS Code code. And if I go to the developer force, you can see uh, this code has uh, public code samples to support trailhead challenges, etc. So uh, what I mean to say is Salesforce uh, has uh, open sourced some of their projects. And uh, uh, so let's uh, take a look at the PubSub API. So uh, so this is the API. Uh, so they have uh, given us some code samples here. They have also uh, uh, given us their proto file here uh, the proto file which i have explained in the previous one of my previous video what is the proto file for a pubsub api so that is the methods they are implementing on their server and which the client should implement to call their call the server side methods of salesforce so if we think uh, that there is there needs to be some changes uh, in this files let's say some doc some comments are missing some uh, parts are missing then we can just uh, contribute to it. I'll show you how we can contribute to it. So we are not going to contribute to an actual project. So uh, so I've made a sample repository. I'll I'll show you. 
so uh, so this is this is a sample repository which I have made and uh, uh, I've added one commit uh, so this is not done by my user so this is I've created a different user so now let's say if I open one of the uh, component here let's say I open the LWC component uh, this is this is a repository for just a simple calculator in LWC. So if I open the sample calculator, I'll go to the JS file and I can see the code. So uh, now if I look, if I read the methods and I see, so this is a method to handle the subtraction. But if I look uh, in the code and I see, uh, so the developer has made a mistake and he has uh, added a, a a plus sign instead of the minus sign that is the result is getting added instead of being subtracted but the method name is subtraction so we need to fix it so how we will how will we do that so uh, firstly what we will do is uh, we'll go to this uh, lwc simple calculator uh, repository right and uh, i'll open that in the new tab so you can see uh, this is my account. So I am logged in here. And uh, now what I'll do is I'll fork this repository. You can see at the top, we have an option to fork a repository. So what it means is that we are going to create a, a copy of this uh, repository in our, uh, our uh, account, in the name of our account. So we are going to create a copy of this repository. So let's fork it. So GitHub is asking us whether you want to keep the same name. So I'll keep the same name. I'll copy from the main branch only and then create a fork. All right. And uh, uh, so I've, I've created a fork for my account. You can see it is written that uh, this is my account and this is the repository. And I have forked it from the summer Salesforce test summer and this project. So uh, now let's make a changes to this project. I'll open CMD. Uh, so I've, I've changed the repository to desktop. So now let's clone this repository. Uh, I'll just use the get clone command, get clone. Right. Uh, so this repository has been cloned on the desktop. Now uh, I'll open this repository and uh, i'll see the i'll open the file that uh, where we need to make the changes this is the file i'll open it with this code right so uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, go to the line number which where we need to make the changes so i'll success i've made the change successfully and uh, now the function will return the correct value so i'll go back to the github and I'll, I need to move to that repository. Now I'll do a git status. So it is saying that changes have been done to the simple calc file. So what I'll do is I'll do a C, CLS and uh, add dot. So this will add all the files that are modified to the staging area. Now I'll do a git comment. So this has opened the default Vim editor of the windows. So uh, where we can enter our uh, comment message. So uh, I'll enter my comment message here. I'll, uh, this is my comment message. Uh, so now I want to exit this editor. I'll do a escape and I'll do a colon WQ. So I have success. So now we have successfully commented the our uh, changes. So what I'll do is I'll do a git log. So uh, git log sh shows that we have successfully committed our changes uh, to the file. And this was our initial comment and this is our uh, modified uh, uh, changes comment. So now what I'll do is I'll do a git push to push the changes back to our uh, repository. So it is asking me how I want to authenticate to GitHub. I'll just click on one using web browser and it is showing that I have successfully authenticated. So now uh, the code has been successfully pushed back. So uh, I'll go back to GitHub. I'll uh, just refresh the code to see if the changes are present or not. So now you can see the changes are present and uh, the sign has been changed to minus here. And uh, 
I, I can also see the comment message here. So now I'll go back to the repository. So uh, now you could you now you can see the message is that the this branch is one commit ahead of the main branch, the branch where we fork this repository from, right? So now we want uh, now we have made our changes. Now we want uh, our changes to be present in the main repository. So what we will do is we'll click on contribute, we'll click on open pull request. So uh, we will write the uh, same value here. Yes. So I've added all my messages. I'll create a pull request. So now it is uh, showing me that uh, pull request has been created successfully. Add a comment for them. Uh, kindly check my changes and merge the pull request. And I'll click on comment. So now whoever is the owner of this repository, that is the Salesforce te test summer. Uh, so they will firstly check what the changes I have made in the pull request. They'll check it and then they will merge those changes back to the repository. So I'll just uh, close this and I'll go back to the other account. And uh, so now I am now I'm logged in to my other account. You can see here Salesforce test summer. Now, uh, in the pull request uh, tab, I can see that there is one pending pull request. So I'll open it. So uh, you can see that I am getting an option to merge pull request. But before that, I'll go to files changed and I'll see what is the changes that the other person has made. So uh, the other person has made the ch uh, change of the sign. So you can see the negative sign indicates that uh, minus sign indicates that the line has been removed and the plus sign indicates the line has been added and I've changed the sign here, right? So uh, I, I can click on review changes here. I can comment, approve or request changes here. And now I'll go back to the, uh, uh, the pull request again. So I'll click on pull request. I'll go back here and I'll merge this pull request. I am I'm fine with the changes. I'll confirm the merge. So the pull request is now closed. There is no pending pull request here. And if I go back to the code sample there and uh, I open that file, I'll be able to see the method in the main repository, the method with the correct uh, formula or the correct uh, sign. You can see uh, this is the method. So uh, this is how you can contribute to the open source project in uh, GitHub. So hope you like this video and do like and uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks everyone. For